Hey everybody, I've been talking a lot about MCP lately, and MCP is the way you can connect, it's a standard way to connect tools to your AI models. And so I've showed you a couple of small applications I've done, um, connecting my Obsidian Vault to it, and, and then using it to create a prompt library system. But I want to show you kind of a bigger, a bigger application that I've done with it, and kind of the way you can chain MCP tools together to do some really useful stuff automatically for you. And so what I'm going to do is say using my prompt journal folder in Obsidian run the daily briefing prompt. And then when I hit return on this it's going to go into Obsidian and it should kind of fire up that tool. There we go. And it's found the folder and the file path and so it should execute that that whole script and it's going to call a bunch of tools and what this does is it goes through and prepares a daily brief for me so it runs through a whole bunch of AI news sites it gathers stories so then it figures out which are the most important six summarizes those goes through my calendar to see what appointments I've got that day through my to-do list to see what's due this week it goes through my list of post ideas that I keep for LinkedIn and gives me three ideas from that list um, for the post that I'm going to do that day. And, and then what it does is it creates a, a, a written brief, short two-page written brief, and then puts that in the, back into my Obsidian um, vault. So when I wake up, I've got that, that brief ready to go and read first thing. So let's just see how this is doing. It's just going through, it's reading the news stories, no meetings today, to-do items. And for some reason, I've been having a little bit of trouble with the, the email integration. Is it email integration not available for this briefing? So I'm going to have to look at that. Um, so now it's putting together my, my post ideas and then putting together the, the morning brief. And there it is. I just go up here to my daily briefings. And this is for the May 18th daily briefing. And you can see right here that it's it's pulled together actually well more than six stories. It says shoot for six, but if they're if they're important ones, and then to to include those anyway, and then it's got it's got links to each of the the stories, no meetings found. Here are the to-do items, and it color codes those. And so what it does is it tells me ones that are due tomorrow if they were red they if they were overdue they'd be in red it should go through and and find my unread emails and just summarize those but i'll have to see what's happening with that and then it takes ideas off my my content list and summarizes those for me as just ways to start my thinking for content development for that day so i think that gives you a really good sense of what these these tools can do when you chain them together and what i did to to develop this was basically connected up the tools in ways that i've shown and then what i did is i just put together a set of instructions of what i wanted to do with each tool and i i highlighted a number of sites not nearly this long a list and then what i did is i took that instruction set and I fed it back into AI and said, here's a draft of a script to execute a daily briefing via MCP. Review the script and give me suggested ideas for how to improve it, how to format it, and other sites that I've missed for ones that should be reviewed for good news stories about AI and uh, technology. And so it then really kind of came back with a whole set of suggestions and then rewrote this in, in Markdown format. And so now all I do is I just I just can say, you know, run the daily briefing prompt from my, my Obsidian Vault. And what I want to show you in the next video is um, how you can automate that and have it run automatically every day. So hopefully this just gives you, gives you some idea of the types of things you can do once you get your, your MCP server hooked up. And I hope you found that interesting and useful. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.